I just bought this milling machine off of Craigslist. Um, not sure that much about it yet. It's down here. It says V-Mill Pierce West. And up here, it's a tree precision machine works, precision machine tools, tree, tree tool and die company, Racine, Wisconsin. Um, doesn't appear like the head's been cut off another mill, so it seems like it's pretty well, pretty much the same. Um, this handle here, which is on the head, looks really similar to these ones down here on the table. So I would think that they would be from the same manufacturer, but I don't know that for sure. Um, Unfortunately, when the guy was taking out out of his garage, he broke this hand wheel or the the casting for the hand wheel. I have the other piece here. Focus. So that's going to need to get welded back together. So hopefully I can do that. Uh, but actually, before then, it may seem like I'm jumping the gun because it's not really usable without that axis. I'm going to see if I can get the motor to turn on because if the motor doesn't run then um, it might not be worth fixing um, or I'd have to delay fixing it to, until I get the motor to work. Um, so anyways I'm going to try to wire up that. It did come with a phase converter so I'm going to play Mr. Electrician and see if I can get that wired up. It uses these Z-type double taper collets. I have three in, three here and one in the mill. Um, so that, that's a three quarters, um, slightly bigger. And focus. And slightly smaller. I don't know what the sizes are of those yet. Um, but. So I've never wired a phase converter before, but from what I looked up on the internet, it seems like you have your line in, your one hot for 220, your other hot for 220, and those get run out to the motor, so there's double lines on those, and then your third one runs out to the motor also. So I'm going to try running it that way, and, and hopefully it works. I didn't get any paperwork with this phase converter, so hopefully that's the way I'm supposed to do it. So put my two hots there. That'll be two of the phases, and the third one will come out there and go to the motor. So hopefully it works. Um, we'll see. So that should be all wired. Got my two lines coming in on the outside, and then my third phase in the middle. Um, I have hot, hot, and then out. Um, I hope. <laughs> I had to double check that the ground that the greens are actually ground um, or wired into the motor is ground. That could get exciting if for some reason somebody didn't put the green as ground. But so I have this adapter that I use with my welder. It's got a regular 50 amp welding plug, 220 volt plug on that side, and a twist lock on this side. Um, I have this twist lock on my welder so I can plug it into a generator. Um, plug that in there, now I have a turn lock. Um, I don't have a neutral hooked up to this one, so it's just 220 volts. So now when I plug this in, hopefully, yeah, there we go, focused. All right, hopefully there's no sparks. Plugged in. All right, let's see. Is this going to spin? Well, the spindle's not going to spin because I don't have the belts on it, but... Motor goes. That's one direction. That was... Forward... I think that would be right. And... Reverse. Yay! Goes both directions. Sounds pretty good. Um, I just noticed this on the box, R is up here, 
F is down there on the side plate, F is up here, R is down there. So no matter how I got it wired, it's wired correctly, depending on which one you look at. That's pretty useful. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. I could swap them, swap two of the phases and it should reverse direction. But I'm happy with that. Sounds good. See. I'm hoping that if I take out these three Allen bolts, this whole casting will slide down and I don't have to take off this sprocket on this side. It's chain driven for the hand wheels, which is a little bit odd. Um, but anyways, hopefully I don't have to take off the bearing and um, sprocket because that looks like a really long skinny roll pin and that'll probably give me some difficulty. All right, let's see what happens. With those three bolts, this thing is now free. So I can get this out on the welding bench and start prepping it for welding. I'll need to take out these two roll pins, but thankfully they drilled all the way through. So, oh yeah, right there. So I should be able to knock those out without any problem. So here are all the pieces, it's just three pieces. Um, unfortunately, they don't quite fit back together again because of the cast iron shattered. So um, I'm gonna have to grind them back a little bit so it'll fit and hopefully I can get it in close enough so that everything works. Um, important things are this face can't be too bumpy because it has to mount on. Um, but since it's aligning via a chain to turn the upper crank, it can be off a little bit and nothing too terrible will happen. Um, well, it shouldn't bind because of the chain, so the chain should give me a little flexibility. So we'll see. We get grinding and see what happens. So I did do a great job documenting this repair, but there's the casting that was broken and I've got it welded. Um, used nickel rod and a stick welder, so hopefully it works, but so now the, one of the, the extra axes works. I guess I don't know which one's X and which one's Y on this machine technically. Um, but yes, yeah, so I've got that welded. Um, did some around on the back side. It's kind of ugly, but it's stainless steel. Not stainless. It's cast iron, so it doesn't weld well. And it just needs to be strong enough so you can't tear it off by hand. I figured spending time putting in extra weld and heat, just more chances that I would crack it. So it's good enough, it's not gonna fall off. So now I'm ready to get the motor working. And we'll see if we can get this thing up and running. So I'm not 100% sure how this comes out, but I want to get the shaft, the shafts that the idlers go on. That's all sticky in there, so I want to get these idlers out. So I think I have to take off the motor. So I have to take off the motor, so this can go through there, and then this guy can come out. Um, that's the plan, anyways. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take off this outer shield first and see what happens. So we get to try first chips on the new weird milling machine I got. All right, let's see. Oh, Tree good. Precision mach Machine Tools. Is it Racine, Wisconsin? Yeah. All right, let's see what happens. I'm just gonna try to mill off a little bit. The vise is not square to anything. Um, the vise is not at all right for the milling machine, but I don't have another one, so here we go.
Uh, it's uh, twenty thousand. Success! Well, not too bad. A little chattery, but... <laughs> eh, not too bad. A little chattery, but not too... Eh, not too bad concerning the vice was terrible. Um, Alright, well, should probably go socialize with the family now, but the machine works! Yay! Hey, what am I? <laughs> Alright, the rest of the family. The family that doesn't think milling machines are as cool as barbecues. <laughs>